Who is Seth Godin? Few individuals have captured the zeitgeist of the early 21st century marketing as much as the entrepreneur and author, Seth Godin. Author of 23 books, 19 of which have gone on to become international bestsellers, he has become highly influential within the business and marketing world since the 1990s. In particular, his works The Lynchpin, The Purple Cow, Tribes, and This Is Marketing have become seminal texts in the world of modern marketing, while his blog, Seth's.blog, has become one of the most visited and read blogs in the world, with over a half a million visitors every month. Two startups of Godin's, Squido and Yoyodyne, have been built into multi-million dollar organizations. As a consequence of all this, Godin was inducted into the American Marketing Association's Marketing Hall of Fame in 2018. Viewers may wonder what Godin's particular appeal is. Simply put, his ideas have captured the imagination of his audience, consumers in general, and the marketing community more broadly. He puts forth methods and concepts that have generally not been discussed before. The most important of these, without question, is his emphasis on standing out in front of the crowd. As Godin says, in a crowded marketplace, fitting in is a failure. In a busy marketplace, not standing out is the same as being invisible. This makes considerable sense. After all, in a world where every product is available in numerous different shapes, sizes, styles, and budgets, the only way to succeed is to separate yourself from the crowd. Godin has come up with a notable way of describing this in his book, The Purple Cow. Here he contrasts the idea of a purple cow with the more popular concept of the black sheep. Godin's idea is that in order to be successful, one not only needs to make their product stand out like a black sheep, but exceptionally so, like a purple cow. Have a product that makes people go, wow. He also stresses the idea of being a rebel in marketing and business. Business is full of people who have great ideas, but often do not translate into success. Godin's belief is that our ideas can sometimes become stymied by having to fit within the preconceived framework of a company, institution, or group. Accordingly, he argues that people need to be rebels and forge their own path in business to make their ideas a reality before they get shoehorned into a one-size-fits-all business model. As such, he is in favor of taking risks, noting that great success is never built off playing it safe. All of this amounts to a quiet confidence. Those who see Godin speak live or perform at workshops and conferences will notice that he is generally a calm and collected figure, certainly not ultra energetic, as so many marketing gurus will claim you need to be. He never raises his voice or fights for attention because he knows that his ideas will do the talking for him.